Action. <laughs> Hi everyone, we are back with another London apartment tour. Today we are in Covent Garden in London, showing you around this duplex penthouse in Chapter House. It's got three bedrooms, it's just under 2,000 square feet, and there's three outdoor terraces. So we'll start in the main living space, which is just in front of me. Obviously, you can see you've got a lift straight up to your floor. We're on the fifth floor. So it's relatively a small development. There's 40 units in total in this apartment building. Yeah, and there's two penthouses. But I love that you have your own lift that comes directly to this floor. Yeah, same. So this is the highest the lift can go. Let's start through here then. So we'll keep walking. You go through these double doors. Around this corner you have, they put two seats and the special thing about this apartment is it's interior designed by L Decor. So if you're into interior design, you're really gonna love this apartment because they've gone for a different kind of style. Obviously we see lots of developments that are kind of gray and white, but they've gone for some color throughout the rooms. So here we are. We have Chevron flooring in smoked oak. And there's underfloor heating, I believe, throughout yep. this um, floor. Coming over to the sofas then. The colours in here, you've got the velvet sofa. Yeah. I've actually got the details of these sofas. I'll also put them on the screen. This green velvet sofa and these two chairs in front of me, they are from Sedilias Senen range. I'll put it on the screen. And this is a Mrs. Lotts side table by Julian Chichester. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. They've gone for vintage furniture and also lots of British heritage. So this behind me, this is a cabinet built by Fiona MacDonald in Chelsea, I believe. The modern and vintage vibe works really well. Like over in the dining table, they're vintage chairs, aren't they? Yeah, these are vintage chairs from Italy. So there's some stuff from Italy and that is a vintage lamp behind. Let me show you there. that. And all these mirrors on the wall. I'll put the designer of the mirrors on the screen, but they're absolutely beautiful. Just like you said at the start, it's so nice seeing a brand new development that's just not white and gray. Yeah. It's colorful, but it really works. Yeah. We'll also pop the floor plan up on the screen um, so you can get a gist of the layout. We have a bedroom on this floor and there's two bedrooms downstairs. Coming through to the kitchen, as you can see on the left of me, these are by four doors to this terrace. So you have a terrace on this side, which we'll show you in a second, a terrace on that side, and it goes all the way to the study or bedroom three. This kitchen is a Dada kitchen, or I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, I'm so sorry, it's D-A-D-A. -A. Did as much research as we could, but the pronunciation is quite difficult, we put it on the screen. Yeah. It's an Italian kitchen, anyway. Yeah, and you've got marble worktops and backsplash, so it goes all the way up here. Let me show you this sink. I love this sink. Yeah, me too. Mila induction hob on the island with the extractor fan. Wine fridge. Just before you go over there, do you know who made this bowl? No, I'm not sure. David Meller. Oh, really? No relation to me, but I just saw and read that, yeah. We were talking about fruit bowls the other day. This yeah. would be a nice one. I like that one. <laughs> Mila oven and then oven microwave over here. And you've got a plate warming drawer. Now, I'm guessing this is the fridge. Mm. Yes. Siemens fridge. Siemens fridge. And then that would be the freezer. Let's have a look. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay. And then this is mainly where your cabinets are. Looks lovely. This is lovely. This nice. Shall we head out to yeah, this terrace? Show this terrace area. So overall, the outside square footage is around a thousand square feet. So you have internally just under two thousand, and outside a thousand. Check out the view. Yeah, views of Common Garden. There's loads of independent shops, cafes, and everything that you can see. And that's what it looks like over that side. And 
Let's take a look back at the penthouse. There we go. Okay, let's head through the back of the kitchen through this area. In terms of tube stations, you have Tottenham Court Station, I think that's what it's called, yeah. 0 0.6 miles. Nice. Utility room. So they've gone for white in here instead of like the kitchen. And it's nice that it's tucked away towards the back. Yeah. Nice the outdoor terrace. You've also got the new air system which filters fresh air throughout the whole apartment, helps with allergies and everything. This is interesting as well, this. I know. Ball. What's the paint company again? Farrow and Ball That's it. is who they've worked with. I think the paint on the living room is called Perpec. I'll put Perpec. it on the screen if I'm not pronouncing it right. And they've gone for a green in that room down there, but they yeah. all look really good. And all of these, no one else might think this, but I always like to grab them and have a bit of a feel because I know if they're heavy, they're good quality. Yeah. And I've been in so many new builds and like you can carry it out. And that's heavy. That's heavy. <laughs> Let's just talk about this Crestron. This Crestron? <laughs> it's called Crestron, but you can basically um, control the lights and the heating, all of that good Quite stuff. Quite good. You can slide it on these bars. Yeah, if you turn percentage. all the lights off with one button. And here's some storage. Okay, let's go through here then, back to where we started the tour. So this is the elevator entrance and the stairs down to the two bedrooms. We'll go down there soon. Okay, so moving on, we have a bathroom on this floor. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, okay. It's a bit dark, but... I love that big plant. Okay, this is a study. Obviously it's a three bedroom apartment, so this could be your bedroom three because they've got these sliding walls. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And this green on the wall is Farrow and Ball. I think it's called Bancha. Bancha. Okay. Just learning to pronounce all these paint names. <laughs> <laughs> I like it as a study though. If you yeah, only need same. two bedrooms and then come out to the terrace on this side. This stretches all the way down to the living room where we were sitting earlier yeah. on. This is your view of the side. Okay, head down stairs, yeah? Yep. Let us know what you guys are thinking so far down in the comments. So this staircase has a leather banister and is it, this is polished plaster, polished isn't it? Polished concrete. Polished concrete, sorry, not plaster. Yeah, it's lovely. I've seen that more, uh, getting more and more popular, to be fair. It might get a little dark on the camera down here. Can you see me okay? Yeah. So they've gone for a different glossy finish on the ceiling than the walls, so it kind of reflects the light. Yeah, it's a gloss ceiling. That in itself is very rare. Yeah, it looks good though. Yeah. Let's head through here then. So this is the pinky nudie room. <laughs> <laughs> nudie. They've pulled off the colours really well. It's quite hard to have lots of different colours, I think, and do it well. If you said to someone that's going to future own this, we're going to paint it green, pink, they yeah. would think, what? But when these guys know what they're doing, it, it does look great. So by four doors to another terrace. Lots of wardrobes back here. If you're new to the channel as well, we're not agents ourselves, so we will put as many details on the screen as possible because obviously we can't remember everything and we've only been to this property today. But we're trying to share as much with you and give you a walkthrough of what the property looks like. Yeah, and so the developers and details will be in the description. Yeah, so if you're interested in buying, make sure to contact them. But in here you have a bath and a shower, glass cubicle. 
I've noticed all the feature walls in the bathroom. Yeah. Are really interesting. This is kind of like furry. It's a really nice. interesting texture. And I love that you've got the LED lights kind of bringing down. Yeah. And also you've got the Sonos surround sound yes. system here as well. Good remembering the Sonos sound system throughout. This is interesting. It's a dual sync, but one. So one sync with dual taps. Dual taps, yeah. yeah. Another mirror cabinet. Yeah, same. <laughs> this is what the light switches look like. They're modern and black. Next bedroom. Mm -hmm. Even just the colour of these doors. Yeah. You know, very interesting. Oh yeah. Hit by the door. Now we're coming into the blue room. This has an ensuite as well, which is handy. Storage here, these are sliding. They've used the space well in this room because oh, yeah. if you had put pulley wardrobes like the other ones, it yeah. might. You've still got the chevron flooring in here. And yeah. that's, that's a premium upgrade for the penthouses. Right, yeah, this is premium spec. Yeah. Worth mentioning as well, full, full ceiling, or well, almost windows here, which is nice. In this ensuite, you have a shower. So the bath is in the other room. Oh yeah. With this apartment, you're obviously paying for the location. You're in central London. That's it. But I think it's a gorgeous apartment. Love the, des love the design and decor. Yeah, me too. This is just a storage room, plant room. Yep. And this door is a fire exit, so it just goes out to the corridor. Yeah, in apartments you can't just have the elevator, you need an alternate one. Yeah, in case there was a fire. Let's head back upstairs then. We'll head through to the kitchen now and have a bit more of a chat about this apartment. Overall thoughts on this apartment then, Summer? Yeah, I love it. Obviously, it's very expensive, but obviously you're mm -hmm. paying for the location. Great location. I love the kitchen. That's my favourite yeah. part of the kitchen. Part of the apartment, I mean. Part What's your favourite part? I think that it's very nice that it's a character building, but fully modern inside. Yes. So the um, facade... Facade. facade. <laughs> So the facade at the front is still looks very original. So yeah. from walking down Covent Garden, you look at this building, it looks like an old building, you know, classic London. But then inside, it's got this great modern and vintage fusion that I think works really well. Um, location's great, obviously, in amongst everything. Some people watch this and think that it's a lot for an apartment, but that's what you get, you know, for London mm -hmm. living. Um, great job inside. I think all the finishes seem very good quality. Yeah. We will yeah. also go down to the concierge. Uh, there is a gym in this building and a concierge. Yeah. It's a 999 year lease and okay. we'll put the lease charges ground rent in the description because I do know they change depending on how yeah. big the apartment Usually is. Usually a bit more for the penthouse. Yeah. Um, but we'll go show you the outside as well to see what the building looks like. Um, and we're also going to tour another two bedroom one is it in this building? It's two bed, yeah, and it's around... Two and a half. It's, it's about half the price. Yeah, maybe it's about a half more. the price and it's not a duplex, it's a one, you know, just on Single the same floor. Yeah. So look out for that video, um, but that one's really nice too. So we'll do a tour for that. <laughs> and just before we get outside, if you're looking for any more information, if you're thinking of buying a property, make sure to check out our e-guide. I'll put it in the description below so you can see all about how to save money when you're buying your home from solicitors, mortgage advice, everything. So let's go check out the rest of the building. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the lift, head downstairs. Like the dark tin. Mm. So this is the concierge area. You've got a lovely waiting two seats here with the fireplace. Lovely fire, isn't it? And your some mail. Some music playing. Yeah, <laughs> some nice music. Your mail would be in here. Yeah. We just met the concierge as well. Really nice yeah, guy. Yeah, really nice. The desk is over there for your concierge. And they've got like loads of pampas grass, which is yeah. Should we quickly show outside then? Yeah. yeah. How do we open it? Press to exit. That's it. 
So this is the street. Yeah, so it's called Chapter House on 25 to 37 Parker Street in Conner Garden. Let's stand on the other side of the road. Take Here we a look are. back at the building. As you can see, actually the apartments are all brand new. It fits in very well. What are we close to here then? Trying to get the maps out. I'll put a list on the screen of what we're really close to here in Covent Garden. And that just brings us to the end of the tour. We don't have time to obviously go walk around at the moment, unfortunately, because we're going to go film another video in this building. We hope you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments what you think. If you liked the interior design, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. We really appreciate all your support and we'll see you in the next video.